Oh, no, no, no. Buzz cut is not move. I'm off to school. What? No, I'm not choosing either of these. Choose. Okay. If I have to pick. Oh, Mama, I'm in love with the criminal. The choices I get are so crazy. I have to choose if he writes his test or skips. Yeah, those choices are very crazy. What? Are you insane? I'm not choosing. What's wrong? Choose. It's not even a choice. Choose. No. What's going on? Oh, please don't make me choose. Choose. Hey, sorry I'm late. Why hasn't class started yet? The teacher is on some kind of super serious phone call. Thanks for letting me know. I'll make sure everyone's safe. Goodbye. Class, there has been multiple zombie sightings. No one is going home tonight. That's impossible. What? No way. I want to go home. Don't you dare come here. How can you read at a time like this? I'm just trying to clear my head, that's all. The zombies are approaching the building. Stay calm, everyone. How can I be calm at a time like this? Just stay away from us. Oh, no. The zombies. They're coming in the building. Get me out of here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? The zombies are in the building. Don't panic. I'm panicking. You better hurry up. Look out the window. Some random guy is coming to the building. The back has to be the better move. Whoa, how did you fight off all those zombies? You're so cool. Oh, you are not flirting with my desk. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. How can we repay you? How can you repay him? He caused it. Wait, how do you? Come, you and I need to talk. Okay. How do you know that I was the one who caused this? You know the random choices we get to make for our soulmate? So you chose the apocalypse? I didn't get to choose. It said either it's an apocalypse or an apocalypse. And then when I tried not to pick, it got mad at me. That is so ridiculous. Are you really thinking of kissing me right now? What? So spill it. How did you start the apocalypse? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just I'm nervous, that's all. Don't worry. We're in this together, no matter what. Kelly? Please come to the stage to receive your number. That's you. Here I go. Uncover your number, please. Ten. Yes, that's my bestie. Brianna, please come to the stage to receive your number. Please uncover your number. Zero. She's useless. What a loser. Get out of here. Wow, they're pretty brutal out there, aren't they, Kelly? Kelly. Just go. I can't talk to you. Leave before someone sees us. Welcome. Our class will now be divided based on our numbers. Please sit with your fellow numbers. Hello, my fellow zeros. How does it feel to be the bottom of the food chain? I don't belong here. You don't belong here? What, you think you're better than us? Yeah, I do, actually. And what makes you say that? Well, I'm an athlete, head cheerleader, lead of the school musical, and I'm popular. You're so popular. Go say hi to your number 10 friends over there. I will. Hey, guys. Shut up, Zero. Come with me. I want to show you something. Okay. Here's a wall of all the fellow Zeros that went to our school. Take a close look. Why are they all so young? All of the other numbers, it shows them through all their stages of life. 99% of Zeros don't make it past 25. They can only handle being outcasted and having no future or purpose for so long. You mean they... Precisely. Mom, I'm home. I had the worst day. Get out of my house immediately. Hey, Mommy. Can I ride the bus to school with my friends? No, honey. I'll walk you. Okay. Hey, Mom. Can I go to the mall with Jessica? Her mom's taking us. You can go, but I'm driving you. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hey, Mom, there's the school trip. Can I go? How long is the drive? About three hours. No, sorry, you can't go. Okay. Hey, 
Hey, Mom, I'm finally 16. Can I please learn how to drive? No. But both my sisters got to learn at my age. I said no. This is not fair. Hey, girl, are you coming with us to Jackson's party tonight? I would love to, but I can't. Ugh, is this about the whole driving thing? I'll take you. I have my license. You know what? Yeah. Pick me up at seven. I'll follow you into the park, through the jungle, through the dark. Girl, I've never loved one like you. Boats and boats and waterfalls, alleyways and payphone calls. I've been everywhere with you. That's true. We laugh until we think we'll die. Perfect on a summer night. Nothing new is sweeter than it is. You wanna free like it's only you and me. Jeez, you're something to see. Oh, home. Let me come home. Home is wherever I'm with you. Oh, home. Let me come home. You can only say yes. Yes. Sweetie, does this dress make me look fat? Yes. You really think that? Yes. You're such a disappointment. Do you know that? Yes. Giselle, will you do today's homework for me? Yes. Really? I wasn't expecting you to say yes. Will you do the whole week's homework for me? Yes. Oh my gosh, thanks. You're the best. Yes. Class, today we're doing a pop quiz. Yes. Giselle, you seem really excited about the quiz. Yes. Should we throw in a surprise presentation too? She better say no. If she says yes, she's done. Yes. Hey, babe, I think we should break up. Yes. Wait, so you want to break up too? Yes. You're cheating on me, aren't you? Yes. You can only say no. No! Honey, do you want some breakfast? No! But it's your favorite, chocolate chip pancakes. No! Are you okay? Should I call the doctor? No. Giselle, did you finish the assignment? No. Are you planning to finish it? No. And you just earned yourself detention? No. That's it. Go to the principal's office. Giselle, do you have a day to prom yet? No. I heard Chad's gonna ask you. No! But I thought you were in love with Chad. <gasps> Giselle, he's coming! No, 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 no! Hey, Giselle. Will you go to prom with me? No. Is that a yes or a no? No! Whatever, I'm out of here. No. Whoa, she has a hundred lives. I wish I had a hundred lives. I'd have so much fun. Hey, Brianna, do you want to come jump off buildings with us later? No, I'm super busy. I'll pass today. Thank you, though. Come on, you have so many lives, you should use them. She has so many lives, and she doesn't even use them. That's so boring. If I had that many lives, I would not be like her. Did you want to come drowning with us? Not today, sorry. Are you sure? It's going to be so much fun. I'm sure. Hello? Honey, come quick. We were in a terrible accident. Your sister's in critical condition. She's not going to make it. She'll need at least 99 lives to survive. But honey, you only have one life left. And that's all I need. Just do it. Hey, Yes, sissy. I feel so much better. Uh, where'd your lives go? You have to cover up your one life, or people will see you as a target. Target? Yes. They see people with one life as weak and want to eliminate them all. Why'd you cover up your lives? I was just sick of everyone bringing up how many lives I have. I just thought covering them up would be easier. You know, most people that cover up their lives only cover it up because they only have one life and they're scared. Last time you saw me, I had a hundred lives. How would I lose lives that fast? You know I never use them. Hey man, we should wipe that makeup right from her forehead and see how many lives she truly has. Good idea. It's against the law to cover up your lives anyways, and we don't want any one-lifers hanging around here. 
Whoa, Brianna, are you okay? Yeah, it's just, it's just really hot in here. Brianna, you only have one life left? I knew it. Let's get her. How many words did you get this year? Zero? That's even less than last year. It's okay, baby. Don't be upset. How about I take you shopping? It will cheer you up. You like that dress? All right, let's go buy it then. Oh, you want to try it on first? All right, let's go. I'm very sorry, sir, but it's only one person per change room. No, I have to come with her. She's going to need help with the zipper. Don't worry, sir. I'll be there to help her with that. Please wait here. Oh, it looks like you got the zipper just fine on your own. Help you. Help you? I... Do you know that man? Here, I'll donate some words to you. I contacted the police. They're already on their way. You tell them everything when they get here, okay? Please, don't be anything crazy. I hope you didn't get a bad curse, honey. All right. <laughs> don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't be I told you to clean this room, honey. I'm just a baby. Just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you don't have to clean. I'm just a baby. You and I, we're just not working out. I can buy myself flowers. I'm sorry. I guess I'm just a play date to you. What the hell are you doing? See, this is why I'm breaking up with you. Is that your report card, honey? Let me see. Hand it over. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I need to see it. Let me tell you something. Only talking in viral TikTok sounds was really annoying. Let's hope this new curse isn't as bad. Must do everything you're... Oh, come on. I can't believe how bad your report card was. I told you I was sorry. You're still grounded for two weeks. What? Come on, how is that even fair? That's enough. Not another word from you, young lady. Mm. Stop fooling mm. around and go to school. Why haven't you been talking at all? You've been super quiet. Mm. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Can you just say something? Thank you so much. You are a literal lifesaver. That's such a cute squishmallow. You should just give it to me. Oh my gosh, thank you. <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't mean to give you that. Uh, just let me keep it. Okay, you can keep it. Thank you, girly. I always wanted this one. Wait here. Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't move. Stay here. Um, Jillian, wait. I'll be right back. Great, now I can't even move from this spot. Jillian? What are you doing? Move out of the way! Oh my gosh, thank you. So, you're the girl that's cursed to do whatever she's told. How do you know about that? Uh, you haven't seen the tweet? Jillian knew about my curse? Yeah, she tweeted it to the whole school. Now everyone's gonna try and take advantage of me. It's gonna be okay. Our curses only last for 24 hours. Tomorrow you'll get a new one. You have got to be kidding me. Hey, give me your lunch money. I know you can't resist. <laughs> Give that back! Stand back and don't talk to me anymore. Slap yourself. Ah! Now, punch yourself. <laughs> Jillian, what is your problem? You should know. Don't listen to Jillian. Thanks. This whole curse thing just isn't... Want to give Jillian your curse permanently? What? Blake, it said I had the option to give my curse to Jillian permanently. Are you? I don't know. The option just disappeared. She did try to have you hit by a train. Yeah, but... Look, I'm just saying, after that, if I were you, I'd give that curse to her in a heartbeat. Hey. Jillian. Aw, is that a new Squishmallow? Give it to me. You give that back right now. Hmm. No, I don't think I will. What is your problem with me? I know you tried to kill me on those train tracks. Maybe because I don't want you around anymore. Why? Because Blake was my boyfriend and he broke up with me because he likes you. I can't help who Blake likes and doesn't like, and you should- Cover your mouth. I don't want to hear anything from you. Mm. Sorry, I can't understand. What did you just do? Give me back my Squishmallow. Now. No, why did I- I gave you my curse. Permanently. Wait, what? What can I say, Jillian? Karma? It's a real b- Happy birthday, sweetie. Thank you, Grandpa. Honey, wait. You'll have to wait until you're 18 to open it. But why can't I open it now? Because this is a special gift. You have to wait, okay?
Happy 12th birthday, sweetie. Thanks, Grandpa. Can I open my gift now? No, I tell you every year. You have to wait until you turn 18 to open it, okay? Okay. Happy 15th birthday. Thank you. Guess what? What? Only three years left and then you get to open your gift. Um, yeah, I guess. Giselle, you're 18 tomorrow. You'll finally be able to open your gift. Are you excited? I don't know. I mean, I've been waiting for so long. I don't even know if I want to open it. You have to, and you need to let me know what it is as soon as you open it. Yeah, I will. Happy 18th birthday, honey. You get to open it. Grandpa, what is this? Happy 18th birthday. You can open it now. Grandpa, what is this? Sweetie, I don't feel so good. Grandpa, are you okay? Just go call an ambulance, please. Hi, yes, 911. It's my grandpa. We'll be there as fast as we can. Just sit tight. Excuse me, miss. Are you Giselle? Hi. Um, yes, my grandpa. Is he going to be okay? I'm so sorry, sweetie. We did everything we could. He's gone. I'm really sorry about your grandpa. Thanks. At least you got to open your gift with him. My gift? Yeah. So, what was it? I don't really know. It's a note. Well, if it was a note, I really think you should go read it. What? It's just a phone number. Hey, um, Becky? Did you end up opening the gift? Yeah, I did. What was it? It's just a phone number. A phone number? Yeah. I don't get it. Why would my grandpa make me wait until I turn 18 to open up a phone number? Are you gonna call it? No, are you crazy? I don't know who's gonna pick up. Giselle, I really think you should call it. You know what? I think I'm gonna call it. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Who is this? Um, this is Giselle. Where did you get this number? My grandpa gave it to me. I need you to meet me at this address, and I need you to come alone. Okay. The person gave me an address. Good morning, honey. Good morning, mom. What's this? Oh, that's the percentage of how much someone loves you. Wait, so you love me 100%? Of course I do, honey. You're my daughter. Hey, bestie. Hey, Jess. You only love me 10%? You're supposed to be my best friend. What do you mean? Of course I love you more than that. I can't believe you. Hey, babe. Hey, Jake. Gee, if your love for me is that low, why are you dating me? What are you talking about? You know what? I don't even care. It's over. There you are. Can we talk? Jessica, I already told you. I don't want to talk to you. Wait, I figured it out. Your mom lied to you. That's not how much someone loves you. It's how much they hate you. Giselle, there you are. Can we talk? Just Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Polo? Marco? Safe. Emily, I'm so glad I found you, sissy. I was so scared. It was so dark. Marco! Polo! <laughs> you actually fell for it. Bestie, don't scare me like that. Chill, I was just joking. It's serious. My little sister Emily was chosen to play the game this morning. She almost didn't find me in time. <laughs> What's wrong with Cynthia? Her boyfriend died during the game of Marco Polo. He wasn't able to find her in time. That's awful. Everything's dark. Oh no. Marco? Everything's dark. Oh no. Marco? Polo! Marco! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Thank goodness you found me. I'm so glad you were far. Choose who will play. They're making me choose? Well, I can't choose my mother. Marco? Polo! Marco! Polo! Polo? Polo! Bestie, why can't I hear you? Polo! Marco! Oh. Failure. <laughs> ah! 
shoes. You're making me choose again. Oh. You're up early. Unfortunately. Honey, I need a favor. Can what the? You drive your sister to school to... Day. Hey, when did you change your clothes? Get back here. This is a robbery. What? First thing in the morning? Give me your car keys now. Ah! Oh. Brianna, you're late. You'll only have 10 minutes left to write the test. Don't worry. Just hand me the test. I got this. Come on. We've been paused long enough. Can you press play now? Come on. We've been paused long enough. Can you press play now? How are you not paused but everybody else is? I don't know why, but I have the same ability as you. I can pause time. We must be the chosen ones. I'm sorry, but this is real life, not Star Wars. Wait a minute. So if you press pause, it stops time not only for you, but for me too? This restaurant you brought me is amazing. You know I know how to treat a lady. Let's kiss. Why aren't you breathing? James! Okay, I can't wait any longer. I'm leaving. Hey, can I ask you something? Sure, what? Well, I just think you're super fine and... Brianna, hurry up and unpause it before I lose my riz. Um, I'm not paused. What? Ready for your curse, honey? I'm scared. <laughs> Remember, mine was just that I couldn't eat candy. And after you kiss your soulmate, your curse goes away. So, once you kissed mommy, you could eat candy? Yep. She would be so proud of you. I miss her. Me too. <gasps> you can't tell anyone about your curse. Alina, meet your new stepmother. Shake my hand, don't just stand there. She needs to learn manners. This is my daughter, Gretel. Ooh, I love your necklace. You should just give it to me. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> well, that sucks for you. It's mine now. You're going on a business trip for five months? You'll be fine. No, you cannot leave me alone with these two bi- Stop, hold your tongue. You were not about to call them that. Okay, let it go. Look, by the time I come back, you'll probably have met your soulmate and your curse will be broken. I highly doubt that. So, have you kissed your soulmate? No, I... I haven't. I think my soulmate's the prince. I'll be kissing him soon. Good for you. So, what's your curse? I'm actually not really allowed to say. Literally, just say it. My gosh. I have to do everything that I'm told. Mother, did you hear that? You're joking. <laughs> Hmm, pat your shoulder. <gasps> Mother, she wasn't kidding. Pull your hair. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you guys, this curse is not a joke. You can't just stop talking. From now on, you're going to do exactly as we say. Pour me some more tea. Give me a back massage. Buy us some milk and hurry. I'm back. The milk is in the fridge. What's up with you? Nothing. Alina, tell us why you're happy. Go on, speak. When I was at the market, I saw the prince, and I'm pretty sure he's my soulmate and he can break my curse. What? How do you know the prince is your soulmate? Tell us. We know you can't resist. Someone told me to go find my soulmate, and after they said that, I went straight to the prince and held his hand. And what exactly did he say to you? He told me he wanted to see me again, but then his guards came and they didn't let me talk to him anymore. Of course they wouldn't let you talk to him. You're a peasant, and he's a prince. Mother, you told me the prince was my soulmate. He's supposed to kiss me and break my curse, not hers. Remember, she has to do everything she's told. So we'll just tell her. You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. No. Alina, get the door. Alina. Your Highness. I just had to see you again. I had my guards find out where you live. Listen, I need your help with my curse. My stepmother, she's controlling- Your me. Highness! Hi! Ignore her. She's our maid. You're not their maid, right? Of course she is. Tell him you're our maid. I'm their maid. Listen, I need to speak to Alina alone. But your Highness. You heard the prince, stepmother. He wants to speak to me alone. Of course. Just don't listen to a word he tells you. 
So you need help breaking your curse. What? Alina, listen to me. You need me to break your curse. Right, yes, my curse. You still haven't told me what it is. But it doesn't matter, because I'm almost positive I'm your soulmate. So, I should just... You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. Okay, well, that... that hurt. I'm so sorry. You don't want me to kiss you? No, I didn't mean to do that. I forgot that I wasn't allowed to- Look, it's alright. Maybe we just aren't soulmates after all. Maybe we're not soulmates. No, your highness, wait. My curse, it's- You can't tell anyone about your curse. It's what? I can't tell you unless you tell me to say it. I'm such an idiot. Your curse, it's to do everything you're told, isn't it? Yes. Wait, but then why did you slap me? You are forbidden to ever kiss the prince. Oh. You have to tell me to kiss you. Oh, okay. Well then, um... Oh. Stepmother, you just knocked out the prince! Yes, I did. And with any luck, he'll wake up with amnesia and forget all about you. You can't do that. Yes, I can. And you both are getting locked down here. Go to sleep. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, Alina? Alina, wake up! Hey. Alina. Kiss me. Tell me to do something. Uh, jump up and down. Hey! It worked! I'm free! Yes, we're soulmates. Your Highness, we received your distress signal. Let go of us, you fools! Alina, attack the guards! Yeah, that's not gonna work anymore. <gasps> no, you kissed the prince? Yeah, I did, and it was really nice. Also, I'll <gasps> be taking this back. You know I loved you, right, Alina? Goodbye, stepmother. Wait! No! Sorry, ladies, Alina is making her own choices now. Please give me white, please give me white! Red. <laughs> I didn't even know that was an option. I don't know if red's my color. What are you wearing? My assigned color. Put on this white shirt immediately. Okay, jeez! No one can know you've been assigned red. As far as anyone knows, your color's white. Got it? What? Okay. OMG, bestie, you also got assigned white? Yes, we're twins! Oh no, a group of reds is coming. We have to go immediately. Wait, why? Just go. Don't make eye contact. Uh, okay. I don't understand what's so bad about red. Everyone come in line for your color check. Make sure you have on your proper color. We'll know if you're lying. I... I have to go. Wait, we have color check. I'm on my period. You are not going anywhere. Why do you have on white? It... it it's my color. No, it's not. Your color is blue? It's okay, you don't need to be ashamed. It's red. Oh no, I need to go. You are going to a place where all the other liars go. No. Get in there with all your other liar friends. So you guys all got a sign red too, huh? I'm Maria. Jake. Does anyone actually know what red means? It means we're a danger to society. My best friend got assigned white. She's terrified of me. I don't understand why she knows me. Reds are known to go after those assigned white. Their pure hearted kindness makes them an easy target. I'm so tired. Are they gonna give us anything to drink or eat? You may all come out now. If you ever lie about your color again, you will be eliminated from society. All right, red team, let's go. I'm not gonna go. I need to find my bestie. Wait, I really don't think that's a good idea. You don't know her like I do. Bestie, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh no, stay away from me. Where are you going? Why are you running? Stop running from me. Get away from me, you psycho red. I'm not red. I'm your best friend. You don't trust me? Somebody help me. This crazy red is after me. So, did you find her? Yeah, I did. Looks like it went really well. <laughs> hey, the other Reds and I are gonna go vandalize some stuff. You wanna come? Honestly? I <laughs> I've never had this much fun in my entire life. Being a Red isn't so bad after all, is it? No, it really isn't. Oh no. It's the police! Run! That was insane. I have never run from the cops before. Being a red, it's something that will happen often. I meant to ask you, why did you originally lie about being red? You seem so proud of it. I knew my parents would disown me if they found out, so I pretended. But now the secret's out. I can never go back. It's okay. Alright friends, what is the plan next? Look over there. A bunch of people signed white. Let's get them. This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Brianna, are you coming? What? No! 
Stop! Leave them alone! I can't believe you guys did that. You attacked them. It's our nature. It's what we do. We're reds. It's wrong. You're one of us now, okay? You need to start acting like it. I'm nothing like you. I'll never be like any of you. Where's your red? From here on out, I have no other color. Put on red. They're going to send you to jail. Or worse, execute you. No, I don't fit in with any of these assigned colors. Therefore, I have no color. Hello, Brianna. I'm going to need you to come with me. It's the president. Hey, leave her alone. Calm down there, fella. I would just like to speak with her. Jake, it's fine. I'll go with you. Have some tea. Thank you. I thought that we may have an issue with you. You see, you're the only person to show strong attributes of all three colors. We chose red because we thought it would best suit you, since you are going to be quite the danger to us. How are you enjoying your tea so far? Why do I feel so easy? Yeah, we're going to need you to sleep for a little while. Good morning, Brianna. I'd like to make a deal with you. You have two options. Either I banish you from society for all eternity. No. Or we change your assigned color to white. You can do that? Yes, but you must always fit the mold. Always kind, never dangerous. Failure to do so, you will be banished. No second chances. Hey, leave her alone, jerk. Jake? Maria? Look over there. It's a distraction. Run! Do you really want to live this way? A social reject? An embarrassment to your family? Brianna, don't listen to him. We'll tell everyone that we made a mistake. That you were always meant to be assigned white. Brianna, no! I'm sorry. It's the only option. I have to go with him. I knew it. You were always meant to be assigned white. What was it like, hanging out with those horrifying reds? They're literally insane! Don't talk that way about my friends. You can't be friends with them. They're assigned red. It's way too dangerous. Well, I am, and they're my friends. My real friends. I need to find them. What are you doing here, traitor? Would you guys please just let me explain myself? We're listening. I was only given two options. Either I'm banished from society for all eternity, or I change my assigned color to white. You still could have came with us. We would have protected you. You're meant to be red, not white. That's the thing. I don't fit in with any of the colors. There's no color I'm meant to be. What? That's impossible. But I have an idea. She's assigned white and she's sitting with reds? Has she lost her mind? Psst, Bessie, what are you doing over there? Come here. No, they're my friends. This whole color system is ridiculous. And it's about time somebody did something about it. Why you lie about the guy? Is it true you lied? She should have died? I didn't lie about the guy. She's not thinking clearly. This she rhyme it, they time it. She's out of her mind, seriously. Okay, I'll believe you, but I got my eye on you like glue. I can't believe my best friend's gone. Bring him back, come on. They timed it and he couldn't rhyme it. It's the world we live in. I can never win. I don't want to be here anymore. Rhyme it, they time it. You have so much to live for. I don't want to see you on the floor. Anymore, anymore, I don't know. You look down, what's with the frown? I just saw something. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it, you need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it, you need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. I wasn't very thrilled. Please, keep your mind at ease. What'd you get on the exam? Exam. Exam. Rhyme it, they time it. Hurry, you need to worry. Stop yelling at me. I can't think of what rhymes with exam. Good morning, honey. Today's nice and sunny. You're not speaking. What are you seeking? Are you scared? Your rhyming is impaired? You must speak. No one is allowed to sneak. You rhyme it, I'll time it. Why are you doing this to me? Tick tock, the time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? You rhyme it, I'll time it. Tick tock, the time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? Just let me be. 
You're safe. You're lucky. Lucky. It's your time to rhyme. You're safe. You're lucky. Come on, Brad, you wouldn't shoot me. We're partners. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm just doing my job. How are you feeling? Um... Rhyme it, they time it. Feeling? You rhyme better than anyone I know. Just go with the flow. I'm scared. You're out of time. You couldn't rhyme. What's going on? My partner's gone. Now it's your best friend's time to rhyme. Five rhymes in the given times. Five rhymes in the given times. I need to rhyme in time. You can't rhyme the same thing twice. It isn't nice. Five to stay alive. I, I don't know anymore. You don't know? It's time to go. No, my best friend, you put her to an end. You're a monster. Rhyme it. They time it. You're a monster. Tick tock. The time is on the clock. Hey, you can't steal my gun. You're done. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Why am I six? You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Why am I six? This needs a fix. You get older every year. That's how it is, dear. I'm actually 17. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Thank you. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Thank you for this gift. It was really on my list. Yo, bro, can I have a bite of that orange? Orange. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Uh, I don't know what rhymes with orange. What rhymes with orange? Come on, you need to rhyme it. They time it. Nothing rhymes with orange. Sissy, you're home. Come play with me. I was all alone. Of course I'll play. How could I stay away? Perfect. You be the stepmother and I'll be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy, they time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up. They time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy, they time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up, Sissy. They time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. We play just like recess. I do shoot. I want to dispute. We time it and she didn't rhyme it. <gasps> She's still breathing. She might not be leaving. Please let me try and save my sister. I'd miss her. Go, but tell anyone about this and I'll know. She's going to be okay. You can visit her where she stay. Sissy, I miss you, little Missy. One of our partners nearly killed your sister. Tell us what happened with the mister. He timed it and she rhymed it. He shot her by mistake. His mind must have been on break. Why you lie about the guy? So, how many do you have? One. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie. I'm sure it'll be better next year. Hey girl, any luck this year? It's okay, I'll be here for you. Come on, let's get to class. Oh look, it's the loser that never talks. Any words this year? I'll take that as a no. Oh, shut up, Olivia. Excuse me? Oh look, the mute is all alone. No one to stand up for her this time. What's that? Did you want to say something? I thought so. Oh honey, you're home. Did you have a good day at school? Do you want to talk about it? Oh no, sorry sweetie, I didn't mean... I can finally speak. Morning honey. Good morning mom. You're talking. I'll tell you all about it later. I'm going to school. And guess what? Wait, how are you talking? The system offered me to steal Olivia's words. Giselle, that's a criminal offense. Wait, what? Yeah, they can lock you up for it. I had no idea. I'm gonna get into so much trouble.
How does she even have infinite words? Hey, is it possible for somebody to have infinite words? Infinite words? No way. Well, Olivia did. Now I have them. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Giselle, please report to the principal's office immediately. They know. Just relax, you don't know that. Go in there and act like you know nothing. I'll try. You can do this. Did you see me, Mr. Fitz? Yes, hi. I presume you know about Olivia's words? Yeah, I may have heard about it. Do you have any idea who might have stolen them? No, I have no idea. If you're lying to me, you're going to be in big trouble. I promise, I don't know anything. Okay then, be sure to let me know if you do. I will. What am I going to do though? I'm going to find out I'm lying and... Giselle? Olivia? I should have known it was you. No, no, this is all a big misunderstanding. Save it. You're going to be locked up for a long time. Wait. If I have your words, how are you talking? That doesn't concern you now, does it? The only important thing here is I found out who stole them. No, please, I can explain. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. Giselle, Olivia, come with me. I'm sorry, but who are you? I'm here regarding Olivia's words. We're going to sort this out. Okay. Where are we? Leave the questions to me. Did you or did you not steal Olivia's words? Well, yes I did, but it's not my fault. Stop lying. She did steal them. You better start telling the truth. How did you take them? The system offered me to steal them. That's impossible. I promise you I'm telling the truth. How many words did you steal? It says she had infinite. Well, that's impossible. Unless she's been stealing yours. Wait. So she's been stealing my words all along? Of course I have. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you. I can't believe this. I'm so sorry about the confusion, miss. It's okay, at least she's locked up now. We have taken away all of her words and given them back to you. Come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how was that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyways. So do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. How do you look so nice today? You look so pretty today, too. I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks? She's totally lying. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get that number up. I can't wait to get a boyfriend out of the picture. I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's gonna try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber alerts for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Jace? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't you hear the news about Jace? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah. And, um, listen, it's kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... It's just... It's just that I have a boyfriend? Mm, well, he's missing. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the... Achoo! No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. <sighs> come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna want to come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't want to come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you. How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. Ugh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? 
Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt, so... Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please! Look, let's just all settle down. You just... I think I'm gonna need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place we can lay low. I bet. But we gotta be careful to trust. I have something that can help with that. Ah, <sighs> vandaag gaan een goeie dag wees. Wacht. Hoe kom praat ek hier die vreemde tol? Mama? Mama, asseblief help. Ek praat hier die vreemde tol en ek weet nie hoe kom nie. Honey, that's your soulmate's language. My seals at all? Yes, and you'll only be able to speak English again once you meet him. Wonderlijk. Ek is geskroef. Hey Giselle. Goeiemorgen Jessica. Why are you speaking Afrikaans? Dis nie my skuld nie, my seals genoot praat hierdie taal. Girl, you're gonna struggle to find him. Ja, dis wat ek ook gedink het. Kom, ons moet klaas toe. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, yeah, ja, I have got 960. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Giselle, can you give me the answer to number 7? Um, yeah, ja, I have got 960. I'm afraid I don't understand. By the way, class, we're getting a new student today. He's an exchange student from South Africa, so please be nice. Girl, did you see the new guy? Isn't he so cute? Yo, I get. In this is from where is he? Yeah, he's from South Africa. In what part of South Africa? They speak Afrikaans. Wait, that means he's your... Yep, in on Peter Wenner. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelik twee en twee by mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is te sien of jy achtig. You're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, um, I'm Michael. Giselle, this literally means the new kid is your soulmate. Ja, jy het uiteindelik twee en twee by mekaar gesit. You have to go talk to him. Is jy mal? Ek gaan nie met hom praat nie, ek is te sien of jy achtig. Well, you're gonna have to get over it because he's on his way here. Hey, I'm Michael. And you are? Oh, you can't speak? No, she can... No, apparently she can't. Girl, I can't believe you just did that. What anders moes ek doen? Ek te bang om met hom te praat. Well, if you don't talk to him, you're never gonna be able to speak English again. Ja, ek weet. If you don't go talk to him today, I'm gonna tell him you were lying. Right, right. Ek sal met hom praat. Good choice. Hello? Um, jy het gesê jou naam is Michael? Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans? That means you're my... Hello? Um, jy het gesê jou naam is Michael? Wait, you're speaking Afrikaans. That must mean you're my... Jou sielsgenoot? Exactly, but why are you still speaking Afrikaans and I'm still speaking English? Nou dat jy dit noem, ja, dit is nogals vreemd. 
Ek wonder hoekom praat ek nog steeds Afrikaans en jy nog steeds Engels. I don't know, but it's really weird. Ek gaan gaan probeer uitvind. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Ja, yeah, girl, what's up? Oké, okay, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wie anders is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans is nie. Did you know that Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Jessica, kan ek gaan met jou praat? Yeah, girl, what's up? Oké, okay, so, ek het met Michael gepraat, maar ek praat nog steeds Afrikaans. Giselle, that just means he's not your soulmate. Wel, as dit nie hy is nie, wie is dit dan? Ek ken niemand anders wat Afrikaans praat nie. Well, did you know Michael has a brother? Wacht, wat? Het hy een boete? Yeah, I just met him this morning. Denk jy, dis talk hy? There's one way you could find out. Oké, okay, waar kan ek hom kry? I think he's in the cafeteria. Oké, okay, ek gaan met hom gaan praat. Giselle, there you are. I've been looking for you. Michael, hello. Um, ek soek eindelijk jou boete. Ek moet met hom praat. Why do you want to speak with my brother? Ek wil jou nie seer maak nie, maar ek denk jou boete is dalk my seels genoot. That's impossible. It's me. Hey, I'm Jake. I'm Michael's brother. Hi, I'm Giselle. Happy birthday! Ready to find out your sweetheart? What's a sweetheart? It's your soulmate. It's who you're gonna love forever. <gasps> Prince Licorice? What's wrong? Nothing, Lolly. We'll handle everything. Don't worry. Please, can I meet him? No, Lord Licorice is a very evil man, and I'm sure his son is no better. Exactly. But he's my sweetheart. Nope. The system must have made a mistake. Well, hello, my dear. Who are you? You don't know who I am? You really don't get out much, do you? My parents never let me leave the castle. I see. Well, I'm actually a friend of your father's, and I've brought you a gift. Is this taffy? Why, yes. This is my favorite. Try it. Good, isn't it? What's the matter? Mm. Too sticky? Sorry, princess, but I can't have you alerting the guards. I'm going to bring you to meet my son. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that? King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad. There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Forget it. I don't need to. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh, what is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> How do you feel? Good. Perfect. You should spend the night here. Okay. <laughs> the king is going to pay a lot of money to get you back. Here, have some more. Let her go. Prince Licorice, what are you doing here? I'm saving her from you. That's my sweetheart. Isn't he handsome? Hand her over or else you think I'm handsome? How could I not think you're handsome? Just look at how big your muscles are. <laughs> how much cotton candy did you have? A lot. 
I'm sorry, Prince Licorice. I didn't realize she was your sweetheart. Please don't tell your father I did this. We won't have a problem as long as you let us leave. Let's go, Lolly. Bye. How you doing? Better. I didn't realize that the cotton candy made you loopy. Listen, I'm sorry for getting mad at you. You really didn't do anything wrong. Nah, you're good. I'm sorry, too. So you think I have big muscles, huh? Shut up. <laughs> we should start walking back. There she is. Seize him. Arrest him now. Get off of me. He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke. Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. Let's see your mark. Purple? Purple equals famous. You're five and you still can't read. It says famous. Well, does that mean that I'm going to be famous? You famous? Oh, no, honey. These marks are just for fun. But, um, you should cover yours up. Hey, guys, look who it is. Aw, it's the wannabe famous girl. Would you like to audition for a movie, love? No, thank you. Oh, but you're exactly what we're looking for. That's the script. You know what? Maybe I will. Okay, we're ready whenever you are. Action. I'm sorry, Derek, but I don't think things are working out between us. I... Okay, cut. But I didn't even get to finish. I know. We saw what we needed. Thank you. Honey, what's that in your hand? Nothing. Was that a script? It wasn't. It was just some homework. It better not be. Now cover up that mark. Is this Tara? Yes. Hi, I'm calling to congratulate you. You got the part for the movie. You got the part for the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, congratulations. Where are you going? I'm just gonna meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah, all right. Just don't be too long. So another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts. But other than that, allergic to peanuts. Got it. We start filming next week. Okay, thank you. Your mark is showing. Cover it up. I'm not gonna cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me? And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. They start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm gonna go. My daughter is gonna be a lead in a movie? Congrats! This is amazing! Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good, and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines, so... Actually, no. You won't be doing anything. I'm sorry, honey. I think I put peanuts in the food. What? Whoops. Clumsy me. <laughs> I can't breathe. You're having an allergic reaction. Please. Everything will be fine. Ugh, you should have listened. I was supposed to get the famous mark, not you. Ma'am, what happened to her? I don't know. Get her on the gurney. Her pulse is dropping. Ma'am, it's a miracle. Your daughter has survived. Wait, what? Excuse me, ma'am. After investigating this situation, you're under arrest. What? No, get off of me. I'm innocent. This just in. Mother puts peanuts in... Tara? Yes, this is her. The director wants to speak with you. Hello, Tara. Look, with all the news that's going on with my mom, I can understand if you don't want me in your movie anymore. No, no. That's not why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I believe you have that mark for a reason, and I want you in my movie. And I'd like to help you book more movies, if that's okay. Mom, look, I can get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh. Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself. And there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm going to paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinner's... Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. 
key. Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend. Please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. If I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop. Mom, let go. Please, you're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch. Don't give that to her. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that. Where did she go? I uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Only say words that start with D. Dude. Sissy, I got a D on my test. What's mom going to say? Disgraceful. She's gonna say I'm a disgrace? Giselle, how does my outfit look? I wanna impress Jake. Disgusting. What do you think he's gonna do when he sees me? Dip. Ugh, you're such a bad friend. Dramatic. Do you think the new guy is cute? Duh. I'm gonna call him over. Don't. Hey, Liam, Giselle wants to ask you something. Hey, Giselle, uh, what did you want to ask me? Date. A date? Should I pick you up at seven? Definitely. I think you're a sweet girl. Dream. Wow, you think I'm a dream? Donkey. You're saying I'm a donkey? Dog. Dang it. You can only say words that start with S. Stupid. Sweetie, does this outfit look okay for my job interview? Mm -mm. Scary. You think it looks scary? I worked so hard on it. Sorry. How do you think I should dress for my date? Simple. Hmm, something simple like this? Slay. Class, today you're going to tell each other what you want to be when you grow up. Giselle, you can go first. Shooter. Excuse me? Slut. And that's a detention. Shit. So you're the girl with the questionable career choices. Shut. You're kind of cute. Space. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Smelly. Stop. Can only speak in TikTok? BFFR. Hi, honey. How was dinner yesterday? It was bussin' bussin'. Bussin' bussin'? Yeah, no cap. Thank you, I guess. Giselle, does my outfit look okay? Slay. Wait, really? Girl, you ate that. Scrum to the yum yum, my burr burr. Wow, thank you. Look at the new kid. Isn't he cute? Mid. I heard he's got something going on with his stepsister. Sweet home Alabama. My boyfriend keeps hiding his phone from me. That's sus. I think he's cheating on me. It's not giving. Giselle, will you go on a date with me? Are you simping? Yeah, so will you? No, thank you. I'm in my independent queen era. Put your hands up. Only in Ohio. Can only speak in TikTok again? L. Giselle, look at the girl your ex-boyfriend is talking to. A whoop jump scare. That's the girl he cheated on you with. 
I might kill my ex. I heard they're officially dating. His new girlfriend's next. Mr. Fitz is so cute. I wish he would notice me. Side eye. What? Side eye. Do you think I should take my boyfriend on a